goes down Scattered clouds Smell of spring Outside Open road You sit in clothes Let's go somewhere far away Hi guys, I'm at my friend's house in LA. We are going to Idlewild today. It's gonna be my first time. She's been there a few times. We might go hiking, I don't know, but it's just like a one night thing. Just a short weekend getaway. I'm really excited. We're just gonna catch up. We're really trying to like hang out maybe more than once a year. And this is the second time this year. So that's good. Her name's Abigail. This is her place. I freaking love it. I feel like I'm in a tree house. That's the perfect way to describe it. And upstairs is the attic, but it's her bedroom. It literally feels like a freaking tree house upstairs. And the countertop is made out of wood. It's such a nice touch and the windows are a nice style and she's done a beautiful job. I just wanted to share what we were doing today. I'm gonna take you guys along with us and explore Idlewild. Okay. We were supposed to eat at a brunch spot, but they were too packed and we left really late So we just ended up eating at Sua at Larchmont to get like a quick bite Honestly, I thought the beef from their beef and broccoli was just so salty and the drinks we got just wasn't good So I was kind of disappointed and they were really expensive but thankfully we had a coupon for like $25 off 50 from the in-kind app then we just walked it off a little bit along the main street at Larchmont and left for Idlewild at around 2 p.m. ish, which is way later than we planned to. We got to the Airbnb at around 4.30 p.m. and we just quickly dropped off our thing so we could visit the town before it got too late. Thankfully, we made it in time before some stores closed so we went and looked around and we visited so many thrift stores while we were in Idlewild. Like it was pretty much all we did besides eat on this trip. We got a little hungry, but we wanted to walk around before everything closed, so we picked up one empanada, and guys, this was so freaking tiny. Definitely overpriced at $6. It was good, but it was so small. I really enjoyed walking around town because the air just felt so fresh with all the surrounding trees. I'm into towns like this with the cabin style architecture, so I had a lot of fun exploring. It was also super small, so we were able to walk through it pretty quickly and didn't need the whole day, which is great because we got there super late. <laughs> this was when we walked by an apple tree. Here, Abby was saying that she was about to pick the apple right before the owner started talking to us about how he's been waiting two years for these apples. <laughs> This was my favorite place that we visited. It's called the Middle Ridge Winery. The interior just was so cozy. We had a glass of wine and walked around to look at the jewelry that they sold. I think they were made by small businesses, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Also, I think if it was darker outside, it would be a lot more relaxing with the warm lights that they had. So I'm hoping next time I come back here, I can hang around for that kind of experience. They also had a second floor where they had an art gallery, so we checked that out as well. For dinner, 
we went to Fratello's where we had some Italian food. I had their mushroom risotto, which I still think about to this day, by the way. And Abby got their carbonara. The restaurant also had a live band playing music, which was super nice. And we actually heard it while walking around town. So that's why I was drawn to try this place out. So pretty outside. I can see squirrels on the trees. The owner is gonna get his breakfast. I think she's preparing it around 9 a.m. And then we're gonna pack and check out and then go to a farmer's market in town. And then we're gonna walk around and maybe have lunch in town before we leave. I'm excited. It's been fun. Yesterday was fun. We came here late, but it was still good. Like we were able to explore town enough for the night because it's super small. The trees are so, so nice outside. Yeah. The second day our first stop was the help center which is a thrift store that they have where you can honestly score so many hidden gems there they had a big selection of furniture kitchen items art books and clothing you name it looks good. You're chilling. You know, this is not made in... Sorry. It's made with high quality when they mark it like that. Like this? It's a vintage. Vintage mark. It's not made in China, you said? <laughs> what is it? Wow. Look at you. We're taking this home with us. Abby saw this display case she really wanted and actually reserved and paid for it. But, unfortunately, one of the employees sold it while we were looking around. What movie star? supposed to say I you. Hope he's not canceled. <laughs> he's not canceled. After the help center, we went to the farmer's market, but there were only a few stalls and we weren't really interested, so we just went to have lunch at Mama's egg house. Wait, long lost yeah. Better. Yeah, it's not gonna be dirty. That one was like way anyway. So Very what dirty. What a good buy. Yeah. I got a breakfast burrito, but I didn't take a video of it because it was just wrapped in foil. And Abby got a country fried steak, and we also shared some French toast for something sweet to share. It was way too much food for us to finish, honestly, but the food was pretty good. I think this is one of the most popular places to eat here in Idlewild. It was really nice eating out in the patio since the weather was also so perfect out. We decided to stop by another antique store before heading back home. It's called Mission Galleria and it's located in Riverside and it's right across the Mission Inn if you've ever been.
This place was so massive. It had like three or four floors filled with so much stuff. Our goal was to find some artwork and something similar to the display case that we saw earlier for Abby, but unfortunately, we didn't really find anything that caught our eye. I seriously did not think I would be into antiquing in my lifetime. I thought it was kind of creepy at first, and I think a lot of people do too, but there really are treasures that you can find if you get lucky. They had these lamps that someone created out of random objects like a guitar and some that he made look like a rocket which is what i really wanted he also had one that he made out of a camera which is just so cool they were kind of pricey though so i didn't want to just buy it impulsively right then and there so maybe one day i'll go back to get one This last stop was such a good way to end our trip because we were able to get one more inside joke in before she dropped me off at my place. We'll be planning to go on a trip like this about twice a year to actually make some memories together as adults. Abby was my childhood best friend, so it's been super nice to reconnect and catch up on our lives, not just over like a two hour dinner. I really hope you guys enjoyed exploring Idlewild with me through my lens. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one.